I'm Matt Ruchinski for Hornets.com, being joined by the newest Hornet, Terry Rozier. Terry, we're excited to have you here in Buzz City. Can you just talk to us and talk to the fans about how excited you are to be here? I'm super excited. I'm super excited for the opportunity. I'm super excited to play in front of the fans, uh, meet my new teammates, and you know, just start over a whole new process and, and get it going. I'm, I'm very excited. When you joined the league in 2015 with the Celtics, obviously any rookie comes in and wants to make a huge impact right away. Just talk to us about your time with the Celtics and how you think your game kind of evolved to have you ready for this next step? Uh, I definitely, my, my game definitely changed. Uh, it got better. Uh, you know, I had to learn a lot of things. I had to be patient. Obviously, when you're coming in and, and, and you're a rookie, you, you got you to gotta be patient and still learn because you might not be playing, getting the minutes you want, but you, you still learn. I came under uh, Isaiah Thomas. I seen him do a lot of, lot of great things. Uh, you know, I seen a lot of good point guards do a lot of great things. And, you know, I just was waiting for my opportunity. When I got my opportunity, I just tried to make the best of it. But you know, four years in Boston was, was amazing. And I feel like I, I grew uh, to become a better player in person. You know, and we talked about those first couple of years for you in Boston. Obviously, the minutes were spotty and you were getting good time. Yeah. But then 2017-18 happens and you get some extra time in the regular season and you explode in the playoffs, right. get to start every game in the playoffs. Before we get to that, though, I want to talk to you about your first NBA start. First time you had a chance to start, you did something only two people in the NBA have ever done and recorded a triple-double. And you followed that up with your next start, recording then a career-high 31 points yeah. In your next game as a starter. Yeah, was... Does this show the kind of game you can have when you're given the opportunity to be a starter for an NBA franchise? Yeah, I mean, I just, I just like to compete. Uh, I mean, who, who don't, who don't like to compete being in my position? And, and um, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm a little different than a lot of people. I, I really, I want to win. I want to win in everything. And uh, you know, just me getting the opportunity to start. Uh, you know, after, after a couple of years of being drafted by the I, I couldn't believe, coach. Uh, Brad had told me like you finally gonna start tonight so uh, I just try to try to make the best of the opportunity and it was there and you know I just try to take advantage of it. Now people when they get that opportunity either you seize it or things don't go as well as you'd like when you had that opportunity to start full-time in the playoffs with the Celtics that year you really did seize that opportunity and showed that you're ready for it what enabled you to have such success in that little stretch? Uh, me just leaving it all out there uh, having trust in my in my and my teammates at the time, you know, just leaving it all out there and not um, not really worried about if I was gonna fail or not. Uh, I know I had people around me that believed in me. Uh, was, a lot of people didn't believe in me, but you know, that, that didn't really matter. And you know, like I said, like I always say, opportunity when it come knocking at the door, you gotta answer. And I had one of the best opportunities I can, I can ask for. So I wasn't gonna look back from that. You mentioned the people who did believe in you and then the pe people who didn't believe in you. Does that kind of motivate you to know that you might have always had some doubters out there? Yeah, I mean, like I mentioned, I mentioned this. You don't, you don't have to hate on me to motivate me. I'm motivated regardless. I can have everybody you know, uh, pulling me, pulling for me, and I'm still gonna be motivated because that's just who I am. But uh, you know, just around that time, you turn it on TV and you see like the ESPN guys and everybody just writing us off at the time because you know us losing our starting point guard Kyrie, and you know, just me getting the opportunity. A lot of people didn't didn't believe that we, you know, make it to what we did. When you had that opportunity, your game, the things that shine in your game, how much you attack, how much you're ready to every single offensive possession really make something happen, initiate the action. Can you just talk to us about your game and what fans can expect to see from you on the offensive side of the basketball? Uh, you know, I'm, I like to score the ball. Uh, I'm not selfish. I'm, I make guys around me better, uh, I believe. And, you know, I compete. I compete and it's contagious when I play. When I compete the, the way I do, it, it, it rubs off on the, on the next guy. And I feel like I, when I compete the way I do, I can say a little bit to get my guys going. So, you know, and, and that's just what I did the whole in the playoffs when I got the opportunity. Just I just went out there and competed. It was it was nothing. My job was pretty easy. I got guys around me that, that believed in me, so I just went out there and competed. And we've seen you too, the way you've grown and how you can attack the basket over the course of your NBA career. Is that something you've really put focus on? Because right now you might only be six one, but you're a guy who can finish at the rim like you're six foot six sometimes. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I'm just uh, I'm a ball player, man. That's, a, that's, a, that's how I just try to put it. Um, like I said, I just look for, look for the openings, try to, try to score the ball. If not, you know, get it to my teammates, find, find it, their sweet spots, what they like to do. But, uh, you know, I'm just trying to make 
everything better. But uh, I know fans in Bud City, y'all can expect a lot of great opportunities. I mean, a lot of great memories, a lot of great um, games, and, and, and me turning up the crowd is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm already visioning, already dreaming about it, everything. So and it's not it. it's, it's not just at the rack too. You can light it up from beyond the three, and that's something that you've also obviously put in the work for over the course of your career, getting better behind that three point arc every season. Is that something too that you think you can really be that added asset to your game? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, you know that's something that you know, I'm gonna continue to work on, continue to get better at, and, and uh, like with the opportunity, it's, the sky's the limit. I can. I'll be able to, uh, you know, get my shots up and, and you know, make some things happen. We talk about scoring, we talk about all these different things, but you also bring other intangibles to the game. You talk about finding open teammates, you talk about rebounding the basketball. You're a guy who, when you look at your starting numbers, averages close to 15, 5, and 5 in your 30 NBA starts. Those are tremendous numbers for a point guard to be able to have 15 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists as well. Talk to us about being a rebounding and a, an aggressive point guard on the defensive side of the yeah, basketball. Yeah, uh, you know, rebounding is, is probably one of my one of my better assets. It's probably one of the, one of the best things I do. Uh, you know, as a point guard, you know, a lot of point guards, you know, no, no knock on nobody, but they, they don't really uh, mix it up and get in there. You got a couple of them loud, like like Patrick Beverly. He he get in there and get some rebounds, but that's just who I am. I, I grew up uh, at a park where I was the smallest. I was always the smallest, always the the youngest, and we play everybody played for themselves. So, you know, it wasn't no teams. We played this game called 33 or 21. So I have to go up there and try to grab rebounds over the guys way bigger than me at the park. And, and it's just still translate to today. It's just always in the back of my mind to try to get in there with the big guys, rebounding, and I can push it on my own. Well, that's infectious. Hopefully that's something that spreads throughout the entire team because when the whole team's doing that, that yeah, that's the way we want to play basketball here. I'm going to put some pressure on my big man. You know, I'm, I'm going to get in there and, and challenge him. So it's going to be a lot of fun. That's awesome to hear. And when you look at this roster, and there's a lot of young talent on this roster, you come in at 25 years old, it's crazy to say you might be one of the veterans on the roster. But when you look at this roster and some guys like Miles Bridges, Dwayne Bacon, Malik Monk, Devontae Graham, these are guys that you're going to have a chance to play with. How excited are you looking to play with this young core? I'm very excited, very excited. Uh, you know, the, them guys who I respect, uh, you know, looking forward to, to grow with them, uh, learn more with them, uh, connect with them. So, uh, you know, the day I come in, the day we we talk, and not just on the court. I feel like we have a great, great relationship off the court, and, and it's just going to keep growing. How important is it to take on that leadership role for you? Because the point guard is not only the leader on the court, he's often the leader off the court and kind of rallying everybody around him. Oh, it's very important. It's very important. I feel like point guards is most of the time his are the snakes. Uh, and, you know, they, if you've got a voice and, you know, people around see how hard you play and see the things you do for the team, they have nothing to do but respect it. So. Uh, I feel like it's going to be great, and I'm ready for it. I can see just talking to you how excited you are about having this opportunity. I can't stop this moving my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's awesome. How excited are you to put on that Hornets jersey and take the court with your new team? I'm, I'm very excited. I, you know, if, if we were starting tomorrow, I'd be ready. But uh, uh, I'm just, like I said, I thank God for this opportunity. Uh, thank you guys for this opportunity and you know I'm just ready to make the best of it. All right I know I'm looking forward to it I know everybody in the organization is looking forward to it and most importantly the fans are looking forward to seeing you get on the court and see what you can do. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. For Terry Rozier I'm Matt Rochinski with Hornets.com.